Hello my friends and welcome back to The Long Dark Experiment on our quest to survive for 500 days on Interloper with a bit of a twist. This is episode 50. Let's go ahead and resume our game. Okay, when last we left off, we made it here to Skeeter's Ridge. We managed to uh, loot the uh, airplane wreck. And... Uh, just found some shelter here so we, we headed back because we got so cold um, it is still pretty uh, we, st we still have plenty of daylight if you can see in the top right corner um, the Sun is just past noon uh, unfortunately we are cold so I got to warm up a little bit and so our plans for today um, I, I've been debating since the last episode, whether I want to head around the back side of the, the mountain here to the Prepper's Cache, I think I might go for it. Um, I would like to find, so I've, I've been talking to some of you guys in the comments and chat area, uh, and I had a really good comment that, uh, of course, we did just get kind of heavy because we made our bearskin coat. And one of the ways to offset that would be if we could find some cargo pants we could get rid of these jeans and possibly if we found two pairs of cargo pants we could even um, replace our deer skin pants with those I'm hoping there's a chance that the preppers cache has some good loot I don't know if they would have uh, cargo pants in there or not but it would be kind of fun to loot over there uh, let me take a look at the map let's see go to the world map it may not show us too much detail yeah well, anyway, here's Pleasant Valley. This is where we are currently. Um, we're, I think what we'll do is we will make our way to Black Rock. So, uh, I got some comments from you guys that uh, you would like for our next adventure after we are kind of done here at Pleasant Valley to head up to Black Rock. That is going to be a challenge for me. Uh, I'm going to push myself a little bit. I'm not familiar with Black Rock all that much. I've been there, I think, one time only been there one time I haven't done a whole lot of exploring and on top of that black rock has timber wolves which are deadly uh, wolves they attack in packs and they they're relentless they don't uh, they don't scare easily and they won't stop attacking you until you, you can break their morale it's gonna be a challenge also we're we're not currently level 5 archery yet um, where are we at level uh, Archery. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, we could possibly hit that pretty soon here. Maybe if we take a few more shots at, at rabbits. Um, we could possibly pop up to level 5. We're so close. That's awesome. Uh, of course, once we reach level 5, we're going to unlock the option uh, in this difficulty playthrough to use our firearms. Um, to be honest with you guys, I really like using the bow. Um... I had to sneeze there. Um, firearms are, uh, they're heavy. And I don't know, I just, I just really like the bow. I've, I've come to, to like it a lot. Um, the, the benefit of using the guns, of course, is we just get to level up. That's kind of that's kind of why I uh, included that in this playthrough. Is because I do want to get level 5 in every, every area. Um, including revolver firearms, uh, rifle firearms, and gunsmithing. So uh, we did do a custom difficulty on this playthrough just so we could uh, we could try that out. Okay, I want to take a look at what we what we have in our inventory because I think I picked up some we got some stuff we don't want from the uh, from the plane wreck. Let me drop our sticks here. Pick up three of those, and then let's see what else we have. We got some books. All right, medical. I would like to craft another bandage here pretty soon. Okay, here's all the stuff we don't need. Okay, so let's. Um, where do we want to put these? I guess I'll just put them in the fridge. You know, I've heard of places like uh, in New York when, where space is a premium for people who rent small little apartments. They often will keep their clothing in the oven or the fridge or, you know, stuff like that. So 
Ski Parka. Another pair of socks, okay. That's everything, right? I, I'm glad they have these little um, corner icons. Let's me know that that's what I'm actually wearing. So I'm just trying to get rid of everything I'm not currently wearing. Okay. What else did we pick up? Oh, you know what? I think we're pretty low on water, aren't we? Completely out of water. I would do anything for a drink right now. Yeah, we could be in trouble there. I did get, uh, we got a can of soda at the plane wreck. Let's go ahead and drink it. All right. Um, might take that with us. We'll take the can of food with us. Is there anything else we want to drop here? I think that's it for now. Oh, green maple saplings. Okay. I must have picked those up in the last episode. I don't remember getting those. All right, well, um, we're warm now. Yeah, oh, you know what? Since we need water, I am going to take some more of these sticks. So we're going to have to make a fire here pretty soon. I'm going to get down low because we I haven't seen the wolf yet out here, but there's, it seems like there's almost always a wolf. Okay, well, um, let's see, to get to the back side, I think we might be able to get there from here. Temperature's actually really nice, guys. We're not taking any cold damage. I think this bear coat is already really helping us out. Um, yeah, in theory, we could make ourselves another fair skin coat to stay even warmer. Uh, of course, the only problem with that is that it, it would make us quite heavy. Um, but it might be worth it for the warmth. If you remember, um, at, the, at the beginning of Interloper, when you first start a game, it's cold, obviously. But as time goes on, the world actually gets colder and colder. I wonder, should we should make a fire here? Also, somebody pointed out that I have like a kilogram worth of feathers that I'm carrying. I do want to drop those um, pretty soon here when we get maybe back to a safe place. You know, I think I will leave the deer. We got plenty of food. Um, if I can make it back to the cave on the back side of this mountain, I might make a fire there. It's not going to blow out. And we can make some water. Okay, I'm hoping we can drop down from the back side here. So we've already looted all of this. But I'm hoping there might be a little passage or something we can find on this side. Yeah, I think we can get there, guys. This is it. Okay, now I think there can be a bear. And I'm not sure if this is the same bear that we've already killed or if it's a new bear. But I want to be really cautious. Is that a bear? No. Okay. 
I've got some rabbits. I do need to make up some more fire-hardened arrows here pretty soon. So we're down to two. not expecting that. Um, oh, you know what? I forgot to use our low quality bow. Well, Wolf, we are trying to level up our archery. Would you like to have a demonstration? about this. Um, can I get up on the rock? I don't know if I can get up. Oh, I can. Okay, good. Maybe he gave up. Kind of unusual. I'm I'm not sure why he would give up like that. Oh, I'll we'll take it. Thank you, Wolfie. Um so I think I'll come back for the wolf and the rabbit because our destination is just like right up there, I think. So let's uh you know although I'm going to do it now and we'll get cold and then I'll head into the uh, head into the prepper's cache and get and get warm. Yeah, let's do that. Take a little bit of Man, we're so warm. I was going to say we'll take a little bit of cold uh, cold hit there. But we are so warm with this new coat. I love it. I can drop any of this gear. That meat's going to be so much better than the rabbit meat. Um, do we want any guts? I might take one. I do need to sharpen our knife. Look at this, 35%. Alright, let's do it. I'm going to take a gut. I do like leaving supplies behind in various locations. So we'll leave a gut curing. Oh, we're so thirsty. All right, I'm gonna do it, guys. We're gonna make a uh, we'll make a fire in here because we need water. Although you know there is a I suppose there's a chance there's water in the prepper's cache. Um, my fear is that the prepper's cache is just going to be completely gutted. I'm really hoping it's a it's, it's a good snow one. If the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Ah, uh, this will be good though. Let's let's get some water. I don't feel safe walking around with no water at all. water. Let's get the meat.
Uh, I'll, I'll use our hand. That's, oh wait, darn it! I should have used the knife because when you make the first cut on an animal, you lose meat if it's not with a sharp object. So, I just lost a little bit of meat there. Oh wow! I'm glad we're in the cave. Uh, let me check on the water. What's this? Two minutes. Do a little bit more water. Get the hide. Well, I'm really glad we're in the cave right now. It's got that big storm outside. Oh wow, I gotta add some fuel, huh? Okay, let's put the uh, rabbit skin back here. Ooh, yeah, I should drop the maples. Get those curing. Okay, water's done. Let's get the wolf meat. Oh, so cold. Okay, do I have any um, mushrooms? Yeah, let's craft up some of these. Eat some meat. Um, oh, I gotta drop it. Okay, there we go. 20 minutes. Um, you know, I probably should stand over here. Get a little bit of a fire bonus. One minute. Fire's gonna go out here. I don't want to use a piece of coal. Nine minutes. Is there anything else I can craft? Uh, no, we're good. Okay, how are we doing for torches? Oh, I got lots of torches. We're doing fine. Um, in fact, I may be able to. Oh, I forgot, guys. I was gonna craft up some fire hardened arrows. But I don't have enough sticks anyway. In fact, I'll add another stick to it here. Um, okay, 18 minutes. Um, let's take a look. I, I do want to harvest some of these. If our fire goes out, that's okay. Okay, do I want to try cooking anything else? I'll try it. Um, let's do one more stick. Hopefully that will be enough. Uh, 
Yeah, let's harvest this. Well, I was hoping the storm would let up, but we may have to travel in the storm. We don't have all that far to go. 17 minutes, 4 minutes. I'm gonna pass some time here. drink almost anything about now. Right, I'm gonna pass time. Hopefully the uh, meat will cook. Hey, it did. All right, good. All right, we, we pulled it off. We we're able to get most of it cooked up. I will leave the uh, we'll leave the raw meat out here. Visibility is really bad, but I think we can find our way. Oh, I got some feathers. Any more? Alright, don't want to get lost here, so I'm going to put my back to the cave. And then I think if we just head the, this way and slightly to the right, we should make it. don't want to get turned around here. Okay, so here's the mountains. We'll go slightly to the right. Go up the hill. guys. Oh, I hope there's something good in here. Let's go inside. Alright. Oh, I think it's gutted. It's not one of the nice ones. Oh, yeah. If it was nice, uh, it would have carpets and lockers and all kinds of good loot in here, but somebody's gutted this. They've been in here and looted the whole place. It's in disrepair. I doubt we'll find anything, but what we did find is a place to sleep, so at least we, uh, we have a nice, warm, protected place where we can spend the night. Uh, we've got lots of water now. Let's go ahead and drink up. We've got some meat on us as well. It's kind of a shame. I was really hoping to uh, find some good loot here. Um, let's see, what time is it? I think we might just go go to bed. Oh, we got that scurvy risk. Um, so in order to combat scurvy, maybe I'll eat some cattails or something. Um, I'll worry about that in the morning. We're we're not gonna not going to hurt us to uh, to sleep, I think. Um, one thing I could do, guys, and I need to do this before I forget, actually, i got to sharpen our knife. 35%. We definitely got to get this back up into good shape. So I think it's worth every minute we spend getting our one of our best tools in, back in good shape. Without the knife, we never would have got our bow crafted up. I want to take good care of it. Speaking of bows, I, I might want to craft another bow before we go into Blackrock. It would be nice to carry a 100% bow with us. I have a feeling we're going to be spending lots of arrows on these timber wolves. Be nice if I could do a batch of uh, sharpening instead of clicking one at a time because we're trying to get it up to 100%, just slowly passing the time. It's 
76. Eighty one, all right, eighty six. We'll go a little bit more. It's good we can do this in the dark. Let's do another one. Ninety six. All right, I think I'll stop there. Let's check on our hatchet. How's our hatchet doing? 91. Okay, I, I'll do one of those. There we go, 96%. Also, I had a really good question in the comments about why I carry a can opener. Uh, because, as you know, we are level, let's see, under cooking, we are level 5, which means that, of course, we can... Um, no calories are lost when smashing open cans. We can we can smash open cans, right? Um, so why do I carry a can opener? Well, it is because if you don't have a can opener, then of course you're going to smash open a can, right? But the game doesn't give you the choice of smashing open a can if you have tools in your inventory. So because we have a knife and a an axe, um, if I tried to open a can without a can opener, it would default to our knife or our, our hatchet here. And uh, that takes away the condition on those. And in order to restore condition, as you as you just saw, we have to have a whetstone. And whetstones are a, a finite resource. Once they're gone, there's no more. I don't know if you can get any from, um, what do they call it, when you walk on the coast, um, try to find some loot on the coast what is that beach combing yeah I don't know if you can find whetstones from beach combing um, if you cannot find whetstones beach combing then once you are out of whetstones then you're you're out of luck you have to um, you, the only way you can repair these without a whetstone is to go to I think a place with a mill during an aurora so it is quite difficult or you just craft a new one um, however, the uh, can opener, it just weighs 0.25 kilograms, and you can repair it with tools and a little piece of metal, scrap metal. So, um, Of course, you could avoid taking damage to these items if you drop them. If you drop them before you smash open a can, then you can open it. But who remembers that? I, I would definitely not remember uh, to, pick, to uh, drop them. And then I would probably forget to pick them up again. Right, so sleep for 10 hours. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey, good morning, everybody. Fully healed. Hope you had a nice night's sleep. We survived 95 days. We're getting up there, guys. They're almost to 100 days. Um, the only loot that I see here is... Can we, can we even break that down? No, it's just for decoration. I was going to say, the only loot that's in here is a, a metal cap, a, a metal shelf. That doesn't even look metal, does it? Looks like wood. I got a crate. I suppose we could break that down. Um, I might actually want to break this one down. Let me see what the uh, the day is like. Oh, is there a can there? Okay, metal pellet. I will. Maybe I'll take that. Yeah, let's break it down. It's a consolation prize. So we didn't really find anything here. All right, let's see what the day looks like. Ooh, wow. Visibility's good. Got some crows. Murder of crows heading somewhere. Um, temperature is not too bad. Ooh, got a little bit of lag. Um, trying to think where the next place is where I could stop. So we could um, we could swing around that way and end up at a like an, an old farmhouse that's broken down. 
But that would take us clear over by the uh, farmhouse. And uh, we actually, I want to end up by the barn so we can get our loot back and get everything organized before we head out. So I might head this other direction. I wonder if I can drop any of this grab, here. We'll grab some of these sticks. I do need to craft up some fire hardened arrows here pretty soon. We got lots of sticks today. That storm really shook the trees last night. I think it uh, rattled the trees and dropped lots of sticks. I could possibly get a fire with this sunlight. A little bit cloudy though. We'll try it. I'll get over to the cave. We'll try getting a free fire. I really thought we'd have more than one rabbit. can't help myself picking up these feathers, although I am heavy with feathers. Alright, let's head inside. Fresh gut. You know what, I uh, kind of want to get the gut off this guy. Ten minutes. Yeah, let's do it. I'll, I'll get a gut. Um, I guess that's where it's going to stay. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the maples with us. I'll leave the rabbit pelt and the guts curing here. Um, I'm going to eat up and then we'll head out. Oh yeah, I was going to try to get a fire, wasn't I? I forgot about that. No free fire. So well, maybe I'll press on. You know what, guys? I changed my mind. I think I do want to head over to the farm, and then we can uh, kind of double back uh, towards where that cabin. I think it's um, Draft Dodger's Cabin. They may have renamed it. I don't know what it's called anymore. But there's uh, there's like a, a cabin that uh, might have some loot in it. So we'll head over this way. I'm not super familiar with this part of the map. I think I've been here maybe once. It was nice of that wolf to come to dinner last night. It's just uh, just in the nick of time too. We were getting pretty hungry. We are getting our archery slowly leveled up. Okay, is this the uh, farm? We got more rabbits over there. I think this might be the right way. It's still kind of cloudy.
Ooh, black rock. Um, just sounds foreboding, doesn't it? Okay, we are cold. I hope the the uh, farm is coming up here. There's a bridge. Oh, I've got a wolf. Okay. Um, don't really want to mess with him. Can I get a fire started with the sun now? Alright, well, if I try to play it safe, I think we might have to practice our archery skills again. Hey, guys, look at that! Archery level 5. Oh, nice. Thank you, Wolf. Appreciate that. Um, do I want to get a fire started? Let's grab a stick. hate to let the meat go to waste here. Um, let me get... Uh, we'll use a torch. I've got so many sticks now, we could get some more uh, fire-hardened arrows. I'm just a little bit worried about the snowflakes we saw coming down. Come on, little fire. So, guys, a couple tips I've learned that from, actually from you mostly, from the comments about archery oh, is uh, you saw there I uh, kind of backed up so what I first did when I when I decided I was gonna shoot the wolf is uh, here I'll get out my bow here so in the very center of the screen probably the best tip I can give you that I've received about archery is using that little white dot I don't even know if you can see it but there's a little tiny dot that white dot is so helpful for archery it lets you know exactly where you're aiming of course, if the target is far away, you want to aim higher, but that's right in the center. Um, so as the wolf is coming, I want to line up my white dot with his nose, and then I walk backwards. If you flinch, like pull back just slightly like that, as the wolf is coming towards you, before he's attacking, you just kind of flinch like that, just slightly, just like that. Just a little flinch, and then he'll start attacking. So you do a little flinch, and you're fading back like this. Flinch, fading back. Like that. And then he'll start attacking, and then you do a full-on draw back. And by then, you've got your dot, your white dot, right on his nose. You know where he is, and you pull back, and then let go on his nose. And uh, hopefully you get a headshot or something close. All right, looks like we're not getting real warm from this fire. Use a piece of uh, coal. Add a little bit of water. Um, and those are all tips I've received from other people. So, I mean, that's not my own wisdom there, but I can tell you that it has helped me so much. Ooh, five kilograms. This was a fat one. Well, thank you, Wolf. You helped us to get to level five archery. Okay, we need to craft some uh, fire-hardened arrows. Okay, nice. Let's check them out. Surrounded by snow and nothing to drink. 
Okay, we got four. Ooh, look at the wolf. Just checking out the fire. Um, I might want to get some more, actually. I'm gonna craft some more. Oh, I'm thirsty. I gotta get a drink. Let's get a drink. Uh, I should warm up some tea and then I think we'll head out. Ooh, we still have 57 minutes on the fire. Might be able to get all this cooked up. Okay. Um, how are we doing for torches? One, two, three, four, five. Got I got plenty of torches. I think I'll drop some tea. We'll get the tea warmed up and then we'll head out. Sounds like the storm's coming, maybe. Put these in our thermos. Oh, oh yeah, there they are. Okay. Meat's done. This tea's gonna help a little bit with our scurvy. Yeah, this pack is getting kinda heavy. Okay, I'm not sure if taking the meat's a good idea, but I'm gonna take it. A plump wolf he must have been uh, finding lots of rabbits around here or deer he probably got a deer okay what is over this ridge what what is that just a log I guess got some burdock oh no it's not burdock uh, rose hips Well, I'll take the rose hips. Okay, I think we found the farm. I think this is the old burned down farm. Well, I thought it would give us a notice, you know, like, uh, new location discovered. What's the name of this place? Or maybe it did and I just missed it. I've got a rifle cartridge. 
Nice. Oh, I can hear some uh, ptarmigan. There's a bird off. Um, I'm going to drop our smelly stuff. Get a new torch. I don't think I want to stick around here. Get the burdock. Um, yeah, sure, I'll get it. Wonder if I can drop any of this this location's kind of out of the way. You know, so we're kind of on the edge of the map here. See if there's any um, birch bark. Oh yeah, there is. Okay. I just want to loot a little bit. See if there's anything I'm missing. And then really, I need to make it uh, back to that draft dodger's cabin. Is there any loot here? Am I missing anything? Hey, right there. Five rounds of rifle ammunition. Boy, that was that's a treasure. You know, I bet that prepper's cache we just searched belonged to whoever's, whoever's house this was. That, that was probably their hideaway, like their secret stash. Obviously, they've fallen on hard times. All right, let's get our meat. And I think we've, I think we've dropped down to the water. See if we can beat the storm. So I'm really just kind of navigating from memory. I think this is the right way. Uh, I really don't want to get caught out in this storm. run a little bit. I think as long as I hug the mountains on the on the left, if I keep the mountains, the uh, cliffs here on the left, we, I think we should find the cabin. I gotta remember I'm really smelly though. I got all this meat. Okay, warming up has expired. Oh, there's a cabin, guys. Nice, just in time. Good timing. Let's get our torch relit. meat here and uh, head inside okay made it to draft dodgers cabin new location discovered nice okay um you know what i'm gonna head out and back in just so i can uh let my computer cool down i'll, I'll take a little break and i'll be right back Head out and back in. Okay, let's have a look around. Looks pretty, uh, pretty empty. But we're warming up, so that's that's good. place really is empty. Wow, there's like nothing. Uh, so we've got a little bit of wood. We do have the cloth. If we want to break down the curtains, see what our cloth situation is like here. Got two cloth. Um, yeah, I think I will. Uh, let me drop these. Let's get those curing. Uh, I think I will get a little bit of cloth. 
would be nice to have enough cloth to uh, to make a uh, an emergency shelter if we had to put our torch out. Um, break these down. Let's see. We'll use our hands. Ten minutes. We can warm up. It's like the sun's going down. I wonder if I can make it back to the barn before it's too dark. Yeah, I think I might want to head out. Um, I could warm up here for just a minute. Let's pass the time. Okay, that's enough. Grab our sticks. I if I can drop any of this gear. Um, all right, let's go. All right, we do have a little bit of light, and weather looks good. Get our bow out. Uh, you know, I never, I never did um, look at our archery. I would like to look at that. Here, let me grab some mushrooms while we're here. Uh, mushrooms and uh, the rose hips are going to help us to stave off our scurvy. The only problem is that uh, we're, these are non-renewable. Um, resources. Oh, we got an aurora. I just heard a little tiny twang of the aurora sound. Uh. Do have a little bit of time before the aurora sets in. I think I want to make it to the the barn. Visibility is good. I think we're okay. I'm not carrying any meat, am I? Okay. Good. I probably should have eaten some of that meat before we left. Yeah, hopefully we don't have a problem. Oh, nice. Yeah, we should be fine to get to the barn. We're so close. Okay, there's the barn right there. right there, in the center of the screen. No, it's a deer. Gotta warm up somehow. I'll try to walk kind of off to the side. Oh, I was gonna try to scare the deer over towards the barn. He's going to despawn here pretty quick anyway. Once the aurora proper sets in, all the wildlife kind of blips out and is replaced by the uh, aurora wolves and aurora bears. Okay, well the reason I'm heading back to the barn is I want to get... Uh, Get all of our inventory in, in place to head to Black Rock. We're gonna have to head from the barn over towards the uh, farmhouse. So I may take some of the loot with us. Uh, I'm not sure though. I, I, gotta, I gotta take uh, take inventory, see what we have. I'll, I also need to decide if we want to go with the bow or with our rifle and uh, revolver. We could begin leveling up that. I kind of like the idea of bringing a revolver to the Timberwolf area because you can just kind of scare them away or I don't know. It'd uh, be nice to just take shots at them with a revolver. Not have to worry about tracking down my arrows. It would be kind of nice to 
just shoot him and, and let him run away. If I hit him with an arrow, I'm going to feel obligated to try to get my arrow back. Okay. Uh, let's head inside. It's nice we made it back safely. Without much incident here. It's good. Good to be back. Oh, yeah, it's going to be dark. Okay. I don't know if there's any electrical lights in here, actually. We'll have to see when the Aurora proper, you know, actually begins. We'll have to see if any lights come on. I guess the truck lights would come on, right? All right, let's drop our maples. And then, uh, let me see what we can craft up here we got oh you know what? i think i've been carrying an extra bedroll did i ever drop the other bedroll i don't remember if we ever dropped it uh let's see i'm gonna craft some items here how many how many of these can we craft two all right let's do it here comes the uh, aurora still is awfully dark in here Uh, we'll craft up our burdock. Let's see. Tinder plug. Let's do. Um, let's do the burdock. How many can I craft? Just one? Okay. Birch bark. One of those. mushrooms and do three of those but we're gonna get thirsty here okay um, do I want to do more bandages I probably should because we have um, four I think no we have, wait yeah we got four bandages okay maybe you know what maybe that's maybe all right I could use a drink Let's see. Um, yeah, we'll get a drink here. Getting kind of low on water. Let's take a firearm cleaning kit and get this revolver in good shape. Man, this pack is getting 72%. I think I want to take the revolver. revolver with us to Black Rock. I wonder if we'll find any guns in Black Rock, you know, maybe like another rifle or something. 98%. Okay, that's probably good enough. Let's drop that. We do have a little bit of water. Okay, good. In the morning, when I have lots of, sun, of uh, light, sunlight, um, we can kind of figure out what we're going to take with us. I think for now, we'll probably head to sleep. If I can find the truck. Now, I thought the headlights would come on, but I really can't see anything. Get out the lantern. Um, let's get a drink. Sleep for 10 hours. Um, yeah, 10, 10 hours should be fine. Alright guys, I'll see you in the morning. Okay, good morning. We've survived 96 days, 3 hours, and 11 minutes. Let's get a drink. Hopefully our uh, our survival trend continues as we head into dangerous territory in Blackrock. 
Um, alright, I gotta figure out what we're doing. What am I gonna do as far as gear? On the one hand, I wanna be lightweight, because I'm hoping to bring gear back with us. But on the other hand, I wanna be well prepared for whatever we're... whatever we're gonna be facing. Um... Yeah, where do I start? Let's take let's take a look at all the stuff that we want to bring with us. Let's see. I'm gonna let's put our food here. What is that? What did I pick up? Purification tablets. Okay, put those over here. Painkillers. I might want to take some of these tablets with us. So that's four tablets, four tablets, four tablets. Alright, we'll take we'll take that. Accelerant. I might take it. I have to think about it. Let's put these pills up here. And we got some cloth, okay. I think that's everything. Got over here. Got some charcoal. Okay. Um, we'll take some revolver ammunition. I'll pick up both of these, and then we'll combine. We'll combine the the boxes with what we already have. So let's see. Um, how many rounds do I want to take? First of all, let's use this and we'll load it. Okay. And we've got 85 revolver rounds. Just trying to think how many rounds we're going to need. If we encounter timber wolves, oh gosh, guys, I think I might want to bring like 25 extra rounds to play it safe. Um, so let's drop it's a rifle rounds. Okay, let's drop 25. And uh, if I take a step back, we'll drop the rest of them right here. Actually, you know what? I think I want to now that I think about it, I do want to take these probably to the house. Let's just take all of it to the house. Not not like everything, but like the ro the rifle and revolver rounds. Take those to the house. I'll take the... See, that's the one we just used. I'll leave that. We'll take these two. 100% sewing kit. 100% whetstone. Do I want to leave any of that? I might want to leave some... Let's leave these here. Um, yeah, we're getting kitted out for an expedition. I'm going to take, uh, we'll take a stem. We'll leave it at the house. We'll leave one stem here. Leave the cooking ingredients and the food. I might take, you know, I'll take one of the crackers with us. We could leave it at the house. Um, as far as saplings go, we've got so many saplings here. We'll leave um, four or five. I don't know how many. Let's, let's see how many saplings we have. I thought I saw some over here. Let's just pick all of them up. Is it cured maple? Cured black bear hide and cured deer hide. Oh, these are so nice. Probably leave these here. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, right? 
Yeah, four. Okay, let's drop these here. Could make ourselves a Travoice. Might not be a bad idea. Um, I don't know. I'll think about it. Uh, I am gonna go in here. Oh, you know what? Let's look. Let's look at our archery because we uh, we did accomplish level five archery. Let's read what that says. We are a master. You are one with your bow. It feels like an extension of your body, and you are able to use your bow well crouched. That is that is so good, guys. We can actually crouch and remain hidden and get up close to the animals. Your eagle eye, your eagle-eyed aim is deadly accurate. You are the hunter. Bow sway reduced by 75%. Arrow damage increased by 25%. Critical hit chance increased by 50%. Bleed out time reduced by 50%. Per use bow condition loss reduced by 50%. And we can fire the bow when crouched. Very, very nice. Um, let's go into our journal here. And I'll start keeping track of what we're doing here. Okay, so we are we're in Pleasant Valley at the barn. So we do have lots of guts. We've got one bear hide, four deer hides, Got lots of gut. Yeah, we mentioned the guts. Okay. Got some fuel, got a skillet. By the way, let me draw off some of these sticks. Okay, cured maple so I'm just gonna pick all these up. I've got so many. Okay, let's see. We've got 11 cured birch saplings. Let's drop. Let's drop four of them. I think we'll take these to the uh, to the farm farmhouse. Oh, let's drop these. I'll put the wood over here. By the way, how's our clothing? Socks are getting kind of low. Pants are getting low. Long johns are getting kind of low. Yeah, I probably need... I might need some more cloth. I'll take these plus leather. Um, I did pick up the cloth, didn't I? Oh, there it is. Yeah, we'll take all that. Okay, we'll leave the carrot. Uh, hopefully, I do have the one carrot for our friend. It's kind of it's kind of my lucky carrot at this point. Yeah, we got it. Um, I think I'll leave the canned dog food. Sort of alphabetically, it's a little easier to see what I've got. Um, maybe I'll leave some of this at the farmhouse. We'll I guess we'll take some of it with us to the farmhouse. Okay, we got tons of matches. I do want to bring some of these to the farmhouse. So we'll leave those and those. Um, I'm going to leave some feathers. I know we've got a ton of feathers. Let's go. I'm going to put them up in the drawer up there. Or the cabinet, I guess. The locker. Yeah, we got so many. It's almost a kilogram there. Then the rest I'll probably leave at the at the farmhouse. 
may, may as well kind of spread it out, you know. Um, is there anything else we need here? Up here? Let's head downstairs. I don't think I have guts at the farmhouse, so I'm going to take some of these. Another sapling. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're leaving six, six maple saplings and four birch. Okay, six maple. Four birch. Um, cooking ingredients. Skillet. I wonder if I should bring these to the, the farmhouse because we do have that big burner stove at the farmhouse. There's probably a skillet at the farmhouse though. Did I really? I haven't left an entry for the for the uh, farmhouse. Pleasant Valley Barn, Thompson's Crossing, Barricade, Barricade, Prepper's Cache. Have I not been to the farmhouse? I don't remember. I, I'm pretty sure we went to the farmhouse. Maybe I just didn't leave anything there. Okay. Um, we do have the old bow. I'll leave that here. Really, we should probably craft a new bow. Yeah, I think I'll leave the cooking ingredients here. I think uh, everything else is good. Probably ready to set out now. Is there anything else we need to bring? So I've got all these rabbit pelts. Maybe I'll bring some rabbit pelts with us. We'll leave two here. Kind of hard to see, aren't they? That's a little better. Okay. I'll take this rabbit pelt over here. There it is. Take that. Are there any more guts? Oh yeah, we got lots of guts. Okay, I'll probably take all those. Alright, let's head out. Let's see what the weather looks like. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful day. Very, very cold though. All kinds of noises this morning. Ah, uh, temperature is quite cold, unfortunately. All right, guys, I think this is where we're going to call it an episode. We're all ready to go to Black Rock. We just need to make a short walk that distance over to the farmhouse. And then uh, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump, and we're on our way. So thanks so much for coming along. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please stop, take just a minute, say hello, leave a comment. Or if you prefer, you can just leave a thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. But most importantly, guys, I do hope to catch you in the next episode. Take care.